culture. You'd use your culture to to uh, right the line holes. And notice that that pudger is fully tapered so that there's no part that can actually get stuck in the hole. It's got pretty much the same taper as your bullpen does. Tools that are commonly used in the industry. A flog and spanner and an eight pound hammer. When we use the eight pound hammer, there's always a danger of this slipping out of your hand. So the riggers tend to use a grinder and put screws in the end so your hand doesn't slide off. And another trick for swinging your hammer with one hand, put the hammer up and hold it close to the head like so, and then cut the handle off even with the underside of your armpit. And then you can swing this hammer with one hand without hitting yourself in the stomach. The tool can actually be used to pinch in the bolts, or another function for it is to hold the roll or hold the bolt from turning while an impact wrench or a hydraulic tensioner is used on the nut. Note here we're using squirt washers. And with this amount of silicon showing, it indicates that that bolt is snug tight. We're trying to line holes up with two ply steel. And the alignment is slightly out. We can use a bullpen to assist us in aligning the holes. Try a bullpen in. And it works fairly well for aligning two pieces of steel together. It won't work for multiple uh, plies, but it works good for this. Knocking the pin out. Never drive the point out. This has a nice fine taper on it, and all you have to do, and the pin comes out. If we've lined all these holes up with our bullpen, but there's a serious misfabrication error, then we don't get the oxy, which seems to be common practice. We use a tapered bridge reamer. This tapered bridge reamer has flutes on it that are very hard. When you use a tapered bridge reamer, you notice that we've welded it up on this end. We can just put our impact tool on it with our normal socket and we can twist this tapered bridge reamer in and it will cut the steel and align those holes for us so that we can fit a bolt. If you use a tapered bridge reamer, never put it in reverse as it destroys these flutes like someone's done there and then it's not gonna cut very well for you. Another thing you absolutely never do is use this with a universal joint on the end of your rattle gun because if it wobbles, this steel is such a high carbon, it'll snap off and fling that thing out for you. So it does require a bit of due care when you use a tapered bridge reamer, but it's a tool to use to align holes, misaligned holes. This is a drift or a barrel pin. Notice that it's tapered on both ends. One side has a longer taper, and then we have what is referred to as the barrel. This barrel is going to be about 0.5 of a mil less in diameter than the hole size. Again, with these tools, they're designed to be driven straight through multiple ply steel. With your bullpen, you're never going to line holes up in multiple ply steel like this. You have to insert the, the barrel pin and drive it through and then fill in the bolts that when the holes become available. In the end, you'll snug your bolts up and then drive that clean through and put the bolt in the hole there. All right, so that gap in that steel, if he tries to punch that hole with too much tool in, he does no good at all. Push that steel tight now, and now he can actually lock that piece of steel in there, and that's the correct way to use your tools. Good job, Vic. What's that, Mike? Let me have your slate. Let me have one. So, Chambo, you got a slayer board? Whoa! Can you get a bite? Can you get a bolt? Because that's all I can give you. Take a bite and plug the bolt in this one. Okay, pull your pull yours. Can you get one down? 